Welcome back all for another Duel Masters video. So for today's video, we're going to do a random pack opening. We're going to do three DM2s, three DM3s, one DM5, one DM6. So this DM5 is um, kind of special because it was from the DM5 booster box. So when I looked at all the rares after the video was done, I believe if the, duel, if the box fulfills the normal requirements of every rares in the set, for a 15 rare set. This should have the rare Sea Slug. So I'm actually gonna jump into this first, and then we will do the rest, ending with the DM6 pack. So if it goes what, to my knowledge, was correct, it should have Sea Slug. It's gonna be kind of funny if it doesn't, but to best of my knowledge, that is what I believe it shall have. Unless I wasn't looking, which is possible. Sometimes you don't look fully. It is Horn Mutant, Miracle Quest, Balloon Shroom Q, and it is Sea Slug. So just to reiterate, guys, if you ever get a sealed booster box for the TCG, especially sets, I know the sets that don't have 30 rares, you should get one of all the rares and then the other nine rares, because 15 for regular rares, and then there'll be nine duplicates. So Sea Slug was our rare, which we knew about. And it looks like that would have been just a regular booster box from the odds. Solid skin. Solid skin fish. Smash horn. Leckist. Ruthless sky tear. And wisp howler. So yes. Just to reiterate. If you ever get a sealed booster box. That is how it should look. So. Which is always good. Because you know there are certain cards. Like if you got a DMA box. You want to be able to get a cranium clamp. So if you get a sealed booster box you should always get at least one Cranium Clamp with a good chance of two. Puzzle card for DM2. Lost Soul. Burst Shot. Hyper Squid Walter is our rare. Bark Whip, which is a nice uncommon. We have a Foil. It is Ethel. Star Sea Elemental. Not really anything exciting, but we do get a Foil nonetheless. This creature can't be blocked. That's all. He is an Angel Command. But he's definitely one of the less superior angel commands with cards like Eris and uh, Eris, Eularis, and um, uh, Valkyr, which is from DM12. They're all really good angel commands instead. Rainbow Stone, Rumblegate, and Logic Cube. I actually really like Rumblegate. I feel like that's kind of a uh, overlooked card at times where everyone gets plus 1,000 and they can uh, attack untapped creatures. So it can be good for kind of some of those... Uh, High swarm decks where you get a lot of creatures out. Sometimes they don't always have the most tack, but a lot of creatures have under 4,000, so you don't usually need a ton of power for most creatures. Armored Cannonball Balabaro, Thought Probe, Foul Ego, which is good for getting spells back. We have that as our rare, Lost Soul, and we do have a Fighter Dual Fang. Very nice. So with this card, when you put him into the battle zone after evolving on a Beast Folk, you get the top two cards into your mana zone. That is a good pool. There we go. Recon Operation, Reso Pacos, Leaping, Engineer Kippo, and Critical Blade. So yeah, so far, so good. So yeah, a lot of these are coming from the um yeah, the boot the lot I got the 26 packs from. Or the other guy I bought some packs from. So I figured for a while I'm going to do a couple. I'm going to sprinkle in a couple random booster openings. So hope you guys enjoy. Silver Fist. Diamond Cutter, which allows your blockers to uh, basically this turn ignore any effects that would prevent your creatures from attacking your opponent. So basically it says this creature can't attack or it's just blocker. They, it does give them the ability to attack your opponent. King Nautilus is our rare. Gray Balloon. Logic Cube, so no foil on that one, but honestly, we did really good for three packs. Magris, always a great light card, gives you some draw power. Moving on to DM3. So let's see if we can pick up another foil on our way. Honestly, we are not so bad so far, actually, guys. Getting a Fire Duel Fang is one of the better foils for that set. Puzzle card. Searing Wave, love that card. Flood Valve. Psy Shroom, which is our rare. Ravu, then we have Raging Dashhorn, Sundrop Armor, Explosive Dude, Bone Piercer with Shitra, and Sword Butterfly, ending it out. So, not too bad. Actually, Poison Sh or Psy Shroom is another one of those ones that haven't really found a use for in the deck just yet. 
Next up, we have, as usual, puzzle card. Man Excess, another good card you can use to get um, shields down. So it adds a card for your mana zone to your shields face down, which can be quite useful if you have cards like Terra Pit and Holy All. Raza Vega is our rare. Hangworm, Peer Bone. Ooh, let me try talking, guys. Bone Piercer, Explosive Dude, Liquid Scope, Roar of the Earth, Aless, and Volcanic Arrows, which I think is also a pretty useful card at the time. Especially because that 6,000 or less power, you can hit so many things. So you lose a shield, but that can kill a lot of creatures. Definitely not one for every deck, but I feel definitely a card suitable to play. It is pretty decent. Pulse card. Searing Wave again. Baraga, Blade of Gloom. Flood Valve, we have Blaze Cannon, and it looks like we... Nope, no foil. For a second, I thought I saw some shine. And this one actually has a little bit of thicker text. This is an interesting card. It works just fires, but the actual card itself... I sometimes see it with more thicker text. Like, it's more, like, kind of darker black. Versus other times, I feel like it's a little on the lighter side. Hey, we got an Emerald. Emerald, always a fantastic card. So the cards do have a little bit of warp to them. Not much, but just a little. Finally, we end with a DM6. Always an exciting chance when you're going to pull potentially a ball media steel dragon. Will I ever pull on this channel besides the MJ packs? Tough to tell, but one can hope. Rumblesaur Q, Hazard Crawler. Adamus, and we have Midnight Crawler is the rare. We do have a foil. It is Splinter Claw Wasp. Basically, he's Giant Insect that has a Power Attack of 3,000, Double Breaker, and whenever this creature becomes blocked, it breaks one of your opponent's shields. If that effect sounds familiar. It's because it is. Avalanche Giant had the same effect in DM5 of that breaking a shield even when it's blocked. Grinning Axe, Sopian, and Mighty Bandit. So that will wrap up this opening, but again, another opening with three foils. Not too bad, guys. So that will be all for today. I will probably throw in a couple more of these openings at times. Hope you enjoy it. Again, leave comments if you think, you know, should we do bigger openings? I think the smaller openings are going to be better to give you guys some uh, constant, constant videos. So I hope you all are doing well and have yourselves a great day.